Well, it's October, or what this channel normally calls it, Yumptober. This time, we're going to take a look at a movie that I think is totally overlooked when we think of the 1980s horror classics. The 1988 American film, Pumpkinhead. The film stars Lance Hendrickson, who's probably known from his role as Bishop in the Alien trilogy. Here, he plays Ed Harley. The film opens with a young Ed's father, Tom, threatening a doomed man to get away from his door. The man is being tracked by a creature and Tom fears for his family. This scene, in my opinion, perfectly builds up the anticipation of seeing the creature, as we get a glimpse of it from the flash of lightning, and it makes the audience or viewer want to see more of it. The movie then shifts to several years in the future where Ed, who is now older, is now a widowed father of his son Billy. He and Billy own a store in the country. One day a group of teenage campers come into his store and after buying their supplies they go outside and start to ride their dirt bikes. Ed has to run an errand this day and leaves Billy in the store with his dog Gypsy. However, Gypsy is distracted by the sounds of the bikes outside and runs out with Billy chasing after him. While chasing Gypsy, Billy is accidentally hit and killed by a dirt bike driven by a teenage camper named Joel. Joel then becomes nervous and freaks out and takes off as he has been drinking and fears he'll get into more trouble. When Ed arrives, only Steve, Joel's brother, is there to tell him what happened. Ed then becomes enraged and doesn't answer any of Steve's questions and just gives him a death stare as he grabs Billy and takes him back to his home. Filled with grief and rage, Ed remembers the creature he saw from his childhood and seeks out Haggis, the witch of the woods. Haggis is one of the creepiest characters I've ever seen in a movie. She has a raspy voice to go along with her elderly face and body. She just looks like a witch, or what anybody would think a witch would look like. Ed goes to ask her if she can bring Billy back first, and she reveals to him she can't. He then tells her he wants vengeance for what happened to his boy. She laughs and tells him to go to the graveyard and dig up a deformed body from a grave that has a pumpkin patch on it. Ed goes to do this, and when he brings the body back, she cuts his hand and pours the blood over the body and tells him to leave. As soon as he leaves, Ed begins to second guess what he did. At this time, the creature of Pumpkinhead is born and begins to seek out the teens one by one, killing them. We really get a glimpse of what Pumpkinhead looks like, and it's pretty creepy. He's gigantic. The suit is worn by Tom Woodroff, an Academy winning special effects supervisor. I love the way the monster is shot in all the angles and with lighting, as well as showing glimpses of him before we see the actual full body when he goes to the church. As Pumpkin begins to kill the teens, Ed begins to see the victims as they are killed and runs back to Haggis to call it off, but finds out it's too late and there is nothing that can be done. Ed vows to change things and is told he will die trying by Haggis as she cackles. He then meets some of the teens in the woods and shoots the beast in the head, but it only subdues it for a short time. He then takes the remaining teens back to his property to protect them. He even tries to subdue the beast with a flamethrower, but to no effect. At this time, Ed is thrown into a barn and accidentally stabbed by a pitchfork. When this happens, he notices that the creature is crying out in pain as well. The creature then turns to him, revealing to be turning more and more human, as Ed himself is turning into a monster. This then makes him realize that they are physically linked, and he runs to his car to get his handgun, eventually shooting himself in the head, killing he and the beast. Pumpkinhead screams at this moment and bursts into flames, sparing the remaining survivors. The movie then ends showing Haggis burying Pumpkinhead in his grave so that he may be called out again. Pumpkinhead was one of the first movies I experienced as a kid, and it's always been one of my favorites. There are really no dull moments in it, and while it is a horror movie, it doesn't really have too many of the horror movie cliches. And in my opinion, it still holds up today and deserves the recognition that it should get. Now, there were sequels made, and to be honest, they are horrible. So if you're going to watch one, stick to the original. Anyway, 
with that as always thank you so much for watching and have a great rest of your day